Hello, YouTube family. This is Brother Mike, man of God on Fight for Christ. Um, just leaving this um, message by a request. You know, so many people want to know, you know, why am I going through this? Why is my marriage messing up? Why is my family treating me like this? Why is my life so bad? But God says he loves me. Well, that is a question that we all have. And let me tell you that my life has had so many ups and downs, I can't believe it. But one thing that I know is that once you accept Jesus Christ, it is not a microwave process. It is not ding and then I'm made whole. My life has been very hard, you know, as being an ex game banger. My wife was a game banger. And we're coming on this video together, me and my wife, to try to answer some of the questions that you may have as a family, you know as what has pertained to our life, you know, um, I am so strong in Jesus Christ right now because of the pain and suffering God have seen me through. That's what makes us tough. When we go through life and life beats us down and we don't waver, we, I, all my life, even when I was game banging, I loved the Lord and I always made the Lord first in my life. You know, but I wasn't living a saved life, but I knew that without God, I don't have anything. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, no matter what you're going through, no matter what circumstances you are financially, emotionally, physically. It doesn't matter if you have Jesus in your life, God will see you through. And it's all about Jesus Christ. It's all about what he done for you. You can't see the whole picture now. Just like I didn't know that I would be leaving videos and be aspiring so many people. I did not know this. And, you know, if anybody told me that I would be leaving YouTube videos and inspiring people and people all over the world would be calling me and saying, good job, I, I would I would have said you crazy. But because of I've, I've been through so much pain and suffering and heartache, you know, God seen me through all of that. And it made me the man that I am today. So let me tell you, when you suffer, you know, don't worry about it. Because what Jesus did on the cross was way more suffering than we can ever imagine. You know, he lived in a major. You know, he smelled probably the horrible smells that you can have horse manure, everything. He didn't have a fancy house was born in. You know, he he was almost stoned. He was going hungry he was beaten and he died a horrible death so you know, if you're going through something there's nothing compared to what jesus went through to make you the person that he wants you to be and i'm gonna let my wife chime in well we were talking today earlier about just living in the spirit and um trying to put our flesh to death because the flesh is what's allowing us to be weak-minded to have no faith to to try to give up because we just tired of fighting we want to know how long we got to fight but i believe as long as we know and we believe we're going to be delivered soon we're going to be out of this world we're going to be risen up with the lord this little stuff we're going through is worth it compared to what's to come once we get in heaven so you know, I look at my life and I say, Lord, all I want to do is be closer and closer and closer. And right now I read the word, I fast, I pray, I sing to the Lord. I, I'm constantly checking myself and my, and my heart to make sure I'm in right standing with God. And I want to say that a part of what made us overcome is realizing we must first get in line with God and what, he, what his will in our life is for us to do. Once we realize what, what is God's will, the Holy Spirit will tell us. The Holy Spirit told me, I, I, it told me I have to um, help. It told me I have to help lead his flock. You know, I just opened up the Bible just yesterday to a scripture that was telling me that the watchman, if he don't, if he don't warn the people of Jesus coming back and, and what's to store and what's to come and what if they don't change their wicked ways, if we don't warn them, then they blood. When they die, they're going to be punished, but their blood will remain on our hands because we could have warned them. You know, because you wonder, you say, well, what's my goal and what's my purpose and what am I supposed to do in, in Christ Jesus? He's going to tell you. But I know for a fact in my spirit, I strongly believe that all, all of us that was ever created on this world, everybody wasn't destined 
to have their name in the book of life. Jesus see everything we're going to do. He's all knowing yesterday, today, and forever. He know what's going to happen before it happened. He knew your birthday way before the earth was formed. He knew what you would do. He know the day you would repent. He knew the day you 100% turn away and ask to be cleansed and, and surrender your soul to him. He knew that day would come. So I don't believe it's everybody going to surrender their heart. Everybody is not going to fall down and repent and say they sorry. Some people might have lost your loved one and, and you, you just can't forgive that person that killed them and took them out of this world. And I just feel like them people that with no forgiveness, they, they got to pray, pray for forgiveness and repent and, and you still got to forgive so you can make it. But I'm just giving an example of how everybody, um, you know, have to come to the Lord and pray. And, um, you know, like your life, it doesn't have a purpose. We don't know what our life is until we accept Jesus Christ. And just like a little kid, God will let you know what your purpose is. But our main goal and our main purpose is once you know about Jesus Christ is to pass the good news. You can see this world is in a, the Holy Spirit just said, this world is in a big old bag. And Satan has the bag. And the bag is full of sin. And this world, this little world is in a bag. But see, soon Jesus Christ is going to come for those who love him and going to take us out of that bag. And he's going to take us into the light. Right now, this world is dark. People are getting killed. You can get your car stolen. You can get your house taken away from you. You can get fired from your job. And at the end, you can die. So this world is very dark and God wants to give you eternal life. You have not lived until you accepted Jesus Christ and until your mind is in heaven. That's what God wants to give you eternal life. And he's going to come any day down. He's going to bust through that bag and he's going to come take us home. And I plead with you guys that look. Life may be hard. Your mother may be treating you bad. Your father may be treating you bad. Your husband, your wife, your co-workers at work. It's nothing compared to the joy that you're about to have any minute, any day, any hour when the Jesus Christ comes. We don't know when he's going to come, but you better be right. He's going to come. You better you better count that as, as gold. He's going to come because he's never lied and he's not a man which he shall, he shall lie. I believe that there's so many lost souls and we're not doing enough. You know, we're not doing enough preaching on the streets. We're not doing enough sharing videos on YouTube. We're not doing enough talking to coworkers and people around our neighborhoods. We're not doing enough as far as the body of Christ to hurry up and this process of the rapture. Everybody wants to go home, but we all have work to do. You know, like, like I keep leaving these videos, you can share them. You can talk to somebody at work tomorrow. You can talk to your neighbors. You can talk to somebody, and that one conversation can change their life. You don't have to be a preacher. I'm not a preacher. This world thinks that you have to go to school. You have to get certificates. You have to be ordained to be a preacher. Paul, Peter, Matthew, Simon, all of these people, you know, um, Luke, Timothy, all of these men did not have degrees. You know what degree they had? The degree of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit was their degree. And I want to tell you guys that God loves you and anybody can go preach the word of God. If you have the Holy Spirit that lives in you, we all got a duty to do. And that's what I was going to hit on. Right when you said if you have the Holy Spirit living in you. You know what? I believe everybody that is chosen. You hear God's voice. It's like it's it's like I was telling my husband, you know, Jesus said to him that hear the trumpet, you know, let them warn. And and I said they're 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 flaming in my spirit. They're blasting. It's not a literal trumpet. That's what the sinners don't know. You out here listening for a sound to crack the sky open. It's a feeling in the pit of your heart. They're saying, you know, a feeling of doom. If I'm not in line and perfect and perfect you know ways with god upright walking in kindness love love all loving just walking in love if you're not doing it you you feel it if you are called if you if you're not called and you're not feeling that feeling 
I'm just saying that's a very bad place to be. If you're not feeling, I believe you can pray. I believe you can wake up and I believe you can repent and you can say, I'm sorry, I don't feel that feeling and I want that feeling because I don't want to be left behind and I don't want to go to hell. But, you know, everybody ain't going to just say, oh, I got my free will. Yeah, let me try. Some people just going to say, well, I don't feel nothing and I don't know what they're talking about and what's going to happen is for me. And they just have this type of attitude that they don't care or or they ain't worrying about it. Or, or I found out on my own time. Well, guess what? I believe we don't have a lot of time left. That's why we're making this video. Because to the people who ain't hearing it, we, we're the voice. We're the voice through us. We, we See how God even blessing you? If you're not hearing it and, you, and you, you're asleep, he, he, gonna, he know my spirit alive. And I'm not asleep. I'm a wide awoke. And so I'm trying to get that spirit straight to you. And if you hear it, then you fall on your knees and repent and say you sorry for everything you did. So Jesus won't remember it from east to west. He faithful to keep his word and you keep your word because I'm doing my part. I'm trying to get the dark, the dark people in darkness to wake up and be in the light. And then they got to share it. That's what it's all about. We got to share the good word because now that we say we got to help others come out the out the darkness and they got to be awakened before it's too late. And that's what it's all about. Before it's too late. We and don't have a lot of time. And then tell them about the blood out of Jesus. Well, I was saying that Jesus always talked about filling your oil up. Jesus say, anoint yourself with oil. He, you anoint your home with oil. He's when he, when they pierced his side, oil and blood came spurting out, you know, keep your lamp filled with oil so that you can be risen and, and rise to the rapture. I feel like the more you read the word, you fast, you pray, you talk to God, you sing, you filling up your oil. And when you just go on your life, ain't thanking God for waking you up, ain't praying at night, ain't praying for your food, you ain't fasting. And that's when you don't, your oil is so low and you don't even realize it's low. Cause I could feel when my oil is at a standstill and I pick that word up. I need to be fed cause I need more oil so I can rise up and get that white robe. That gleaming white spotless robe waiting on us. It's waiting on you and it's waiting on me. I'm not better than you. You know, we all out here in this race and I'm just running mine and I'm trying to, you know, instill in people, you got to run your race as well. That's right, saints. We're, we're no better than anybody. You know, we just love the Lord with all our heart. We've accepted him just like you've accepted him. We choose to, you know, uplift his name and leave videos and, and we thank God for y'all. Y'all are our family, and y'all have been faithful to watch these videos. And I just um, pray for you guys each and every day. And I had to make this video because so many people are going through so much, you know, all around YouTube. You know, people are calling me and leaving messages. Brother Mike, pray for me. Satan is attacking me. Well, he's going to attack because he knows we're going home any day now. And he, we're going to the most joy that you've ever imagined in your life. You haven't seen a party till we get into heaven. You haven't seen joy until you get in heaven. You haven't seen beautiful flowers and houses and people and animals and things until you witness heaven. You know, we're only getting small glimpses of how heaven is. We're, I wouldn't even say we're getting glimpses on this earth because nothing compare us to heaven no eyes have seen ears have heard and your heart have conceived the things prepared for those who love the lord heaven is just going to be 17 trillion times better than anything we've ever imagined so you know satan is going to tempt you yeah let him tempt you now he's tempting me now but guess what he only have a little while longer to tempt us and be thankful for these trials because you can give glory to the Lord each time you reject the Lord. Each time you reject the Lord, you know, each time you reject Satan, you're giving glory to the Lord. So be thankful for this because soon when you get to heaven, you're going to wish you went through more trials and tribulations so you can bring glory to the Lord. Right now, the angels are looking into being redeemed because they, you know, some of them are, was, was probably wishing that they can be down here to reject satan and to get blessings and glory and honor like we're like we're going to receive so reject satan each and every day we know that we're not going to pass every test but try to pass majority of them okay we're not perfect and so many people say well brother mike why are you telling people to repent daily daily you know if you're a true christian you're not going to sin you show me a christian that don't sin and i'll show you a liar 
Show me one person that don't sin on this earth because I only know one that never sinned. And that was Jesus Christ himself. Because if you never sin, why do you need a savior? Why do we need Jesus Christ? Why do you need the Holy Spirit if you're not a sinner? If you've never sinned? Answer me. Because I'm here. I'm waiting for your answer. We need Jesus Christ. We need his blood. We needed him to die on the cross. Because each time we sin, you know, we can repent. And Jesus is faithful to wash away our sins. Just like my wife said, he will not remember your sin from left to right. That is the reason why we need Jesus Christ. That is the reason why we need the helper, which leads us to repentance. So did you want to say anything else? I just want to say um, I encourage everybody to repent, pray, and get fed and live and live more abundantly. So YouTube family, um, it's been wonderful with you guys. I don't know how many videos I got left. I just feel like the rapture is just so close, y'all. It's so close, you know. I'm, that's why I'm trying to leave leave as many videos as I can. Um, I just been bogarting these videos because I just want to give you guys as much information as I can. So I love you guys. This is Brother Mike, man of God. Thank you guys for listening to another message. I hope I've answered a lot of you guys' questions. Just keep putting Satan to shame as long as you can. Each time you win a test for the Lord, your angel writes it down. And God will remember that each time you fail, drop down on your knees and repent. You must repent. And Jesus is faithful to forgive you and try your best, your darndest not to do it anymore. Y'all, we are at the end of the rope, the end of the rope. Y'all, this is brother Mike, man of God. Do not get caught off guard. Jesus is coming.